In 2012, both the United Nations Agency for Refugees and the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center estimated that half of all refugees and internally displaced people were in urban areas. This amounts to over 5 million urban refugees, including asylum seekers and over 20 million IDPs. And in fact, the proportion of refugees in cities may be higher, especially as urban refugees are often reluctant to register or discriminated against due to stricter status determination processes. The length of displacement is also rising. In the early 1990s, the average length of displacement was nine years. In recent years, that average has reached almost 20. The traditional solutions of return, resettlement, and repatriation are not working. The majority of the urban displaced are in cities in low and middle income countries, cities which have urbanized rapidly and with little provision for new residents. This has resulted in large informal and slum areas. Nairobi in Kenya grew from 300,000 in 1960 to over 3 million in 2009. Ye in South Sudan grew from over 39,000 in 2005 to over 170,000 in 2010. Displaced people living in cities pose a number of challenges to the mainstream humanitarian sector. In refugee and IDP camps, where assistance has traditionally been provided, it is easier to distinguish, target, and reach people. Camps have become a more familiar operating environment. As part of the Sanctuary in the City project, we undertook research in seven urban centers. Refugees and IDPs were asked about the challenges they face, and so were the residents they had settled amongst. Sanctuary in the City explores the kind of help people need in cities, how this help should be provided, and what urban displacement means for urban public services and markets. Many of the vulnerabilities refugees face are shared with the host population. The humanitarian sector's adaptation to urban displacement is therefore not just about new tools, but about changing approaches too. The agenda is larger than the concerns of humanitarians alone, spanning human rights, development, and political action. Thank you for watching this video. To read Sanctuary in the City, click on the link at the end of this presentation or go to our website.